take a look at this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm like a big kid right now. So our last test we know did not replicate the El Paso video. But one of the popular theories also is that it could have been some type of military illumination flare because there's a lot of military bases in the area. This rocket will deploy our flares. This is our payload. It's got three flares. Once this rocket gets to a certain altitude, this is gonna be deployed. So at first, they're gonna fall down, ignite it all together like we saw in the video, solid light. But soon, this electrical tape will burn away, then the flares will separate, fall a little bit more by themselves before another charge will set off some parachutes. So that's how we're gonna get our triangle UFO in the sky when it splits the three flares. Yep. All right, well, we have to make sure that we have a very level platform because this thing needs to shoot up and it's gonna <laughs> go pretty high. So I will man the ignition. Okay, we'll do the countdown by radio. Yep. I will try to spot and we'll uh, try to follow the whole trajectory. I'm gonna go grab my camera and I'm gonna head 2,500 feet in that direction and I'll walk you when I'm ready. Okay, Chica. Good. You right. guys ready? Go Good team. Luck. Okay, let's do it. Let's get our rocket on. Jael for Ben. I've made it to the vantage point. Camera's rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, we're go for launch in three, two, one. Fact or faked. An original series, all new Wednesdays at 10, only on Sci-Fi. Imagine greater.